Do you really know how well your shop stacks up against others? The Top Shop's benchmarking program can help you find out. I'm Derek Horn, Senior Editor of Modern Machine Shop Magazine. Each year, hundreds of shop owners and managers participate in our Top Shop's benchmarking program. The survey enables them to compare business and machining metrics against industry standards. It also lets them get a chance to see what types of machining technology and processes leading shops are leveraging. Today we're visiting WSI Industries in Monticello, Minnesota. WSI participated in our most recent Top Shop survey. In fact, they performed particularly well in a shop floor practices section of the survey. I'm here with Benjamin Rashliger, president of WSI. Benji, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about WSI and the work that you perform here. WSI Industries is a contract manufacturer, 60 year history, publicly traded, and with a specialty focus in CNC machining and assembly. Our business is broken down into three main areas, a high volume aluminum machining, large steel parts for the energy segment primarily, and repetitive batch. We focus on larger volume, longer term programs, which generally require a little bit more capital and a much more significant investment in process up front. Benji, I can't help but notice how clean and organized your facility is here. How important is that to your operation? Uh, cleanliness is very important to us. We believe in having a very clean environment for our employees, and it's very important also for us to show our customers and our prospects as we bring them through our facility. So your entire facility is temperature controlled too, right? That's correct. We maintain a few degrees tolerance in the entire facility. That way we can ensure that we meet all the high tolerance requirements of the majority of the programs that we machine for our customers. Benji, I noticed a number of shop floor CMMs out here. What is the value of having such sophisticated measurement equipment very near production? We believe that our operators own their quality, and most of our operators are responsible for inspecting their own parts, including on the CMM machines. We also have the ferro arm for the larger parts, and that's also done right on the floor. It's the advantage of having our entire facility temperature controlled. That way we don't have to have our CMMs in a dedicated quality lab. Benji, you've got a number of machining cells here on the shop floor. How does your approach to high volume production differ from your small batch work? Many of the programs that we run for our customers are very high volume in nature. This requires us to build dedicated work cells to support those needs, making sure we have a process that allows us to duplicate and provide daily deliveries to our customers and ensure quality products. So in this case, it's really more about just the machining. Absolutely, machining is just a small part of what we do. We provide complete turnkey solutions to our customer. This starts with working closely with our engineering group up front to make sure that the product is designed and developed in a way that best supports our ability to machine it. Uh, from there, we have a dedicated business manager and we have our own internal quality engineering and teams that manage everything all the way through production, including logistics and shipments daily to each customer. So Benji, component assembly is another value adding service you provide. Tell me about that. Many times parts have assembly required before we even machine them by inserting certain features or parts into them. We also have assembly that follows machining. Uh, in addition, we provide complete assemblies to our customers, some which have some machine components and some that are purchase components, and we manage that entire project for them. So in your low volume batch area, what do you do to speed setups and changeovers there? In our repetitive batch area is probably the area of business that most resembles the typical job shop. This is an area that we probably utilize the Top Shop survey the most for to best benchmark our business against those shops. We follow the same processes that many of them do with common fixture libraries, common tool libraries, and really a strong focus on setup reduction and meeting production standards. Now for your large scale work for the energy industries, tell me about some of the big production challenges that involves. In our higher volume production cells, we generally know the volume and the rates and the work that we're going to be looking at for the next few years. In energy, we have to sometimes buy equipment based on where we think the market may be going and where there's voids in our capacity or where we're over capacity. So those equipment decisions are much different and many times we have to go and, and make guesses on where we think the market's going and invest in capital up front. So Benji, you're almost done with a major facility expansion here. What drove the decision to do this? We just are about finished with a, a doubling of our manufacturing space. Uh, we really were 
filled in our current facility and needed additional space, not only for existing and current programs, but for programs that we knew would be ramping up over the next few years. We also needed uh, to make some changes in the scope of our build building by raising the roof so that we'd be capable of bringing in larger scale programs in size, which required bigger machines and different capital than we currently run. So Benji, I want to thank you for participating in our Top Shops benchmarking survey. I'm curious, what value do you place on benchmarking your business against others? Uh, benchmarking is very important to us. Uh, we need to ensure that we are meeting the rates and standards and performance of those that we're competing with, as well as the peers in the market, and staying on top of technology, equipment, and human resources practices. And we use a survey for all those things. Does benchmarking help you deal with the changing technology that's available today? Uh, technology is constantly changing and constantly improving, and it's difficult at times to understand and know that we are really taking advantage of those improvements. Uh, other things like processes and manufacturing methods and techniques, like lean manufacturing, for example, are also important to know that we are following the market. Benchmarking should be a part of all shops' continuous improvement efforts.